This is a second video about Hamming codes. It's assumed that you have uh, understood the first video uh, where we created the extra parity bits that we add into data to allow us to do uh, error detection. Uh, in this video though we're going to show you how you actually use this information to detect and correct errors. Okay, so we have our data at the top here that we originally started with. We've added in at the parity uh, at the bit positions 1, 2, 4 and 8 and calculated those correctly. Now imagine that the data has been sent and received but on the way during transmission an error occurred in bit number 11 and that's 0 becomes a 1. Well what we do at the receiving end you will look at the data and look at the bits where the parity is to see if the information is correct. So let's have a look at that. We go, we're going to be looking at bit positions 1, 2, four and eight where the parity bits are and it's the same uh, check skip check skip that was uh, idea that was used obviously when we encoded the uh, the bits parity bits in there um, but here we can see we've got a zero skip zero skip one skip zero skip one skip one skip okay and then for bit position 2 it's now going to be in pairs so we're going to 2 bits skip 2 bits 2 bits skip 2 bits 2 bits alright bit number 4 we're going to use the 4 so we've got a 0 1 0 0 and we're going to miss 1 2 3 4 and then we've got one other bit left and parity bit number 8 we're going to use 8 bits we've only got one, two, three, four, five, so we need all of those. Let's have a little look and see if our parity is even. And here we've got one, two, three bits. Therefore that's an odd number, so that parity bit doesn't match. And once again, one, two, three, parity doesn't match. One, two, great, parity matches. One, two, three, four, five, odd number again, so the parity is not correct. So at this point we know that there is an error in the information that's been sent but we need to determine which bit the error has occurred in. Well, the way we do that is we can see that the error was the parity bits 1, 2 and 8 were correct and if we add together 1, 2 and 8 we end up with 11 and there we go, it was bit number 11 that had been sent in error. And this wasn't a, a fluke or something, this works for all of the bits. Um, obviously it's only going to correct uh, a single error bit, um, but it can do that successfully every time.